Hey guys, it's Rachel Archelais here. You know, I'm thinking here, like, what do I want to do in my business next year? Um, what am I going to do differently? How do I want to feel? You know, where do I want to go? Um, I'm doing things a little differently this year and that I'm allowing myself the time to actually do things more deliberately. So instead of just um, fluttering and flying by the seat of my pants, which is what I've always done, I'm going to make sure that I schedule in some more vacation time and make sure that I get to the destinations that I want to go to. And, you know, to me, there's more ease in this model now, where in the past, just planning as I went was where the ease was. So that's what I follow. And you can look back on your own life too, and your own year and the year ahead. Where is the energy for you? Where is the release? Where is the ease? You know, are you going to plan next year differently than you planned last year? What do you want to have in your life next year? You know, do you want there to be a different source of income? Do you want there to be a vacation spot that you've never gone to? Or do you want to make sure that you go back to your favorite place? How do you want to handle your friendships? And how do you want to handle your romantic relationships? Will it be different? This is such a great time to ask yourself all these questions and to answer them. And what I like to do is I like to have a little retreat with myself and, you know, kind of have a nice gentle day so that I have time to unplug from everything so that I can address these things and really feel out in my body what I want to do and what makes the most sense for me. Um, I often will include, you know, really nice smelling, um, aromatherapy elements in my day and I'll have like a special blanket put on the floor um, so that I can make it kind of like a picnic. I'll make sure I've got lots of art supplies around so that I can be as creative as I want to be because just planning in a regular old notebook doesn't always do it for me. Um, my cats are about to knock over my lights so if that happens just work with me. Um, you know, I'll make sure that it's a day that I can totally unplug from my emails, that I don't have any client calls. And if you can devote a day or at least a couple hours to yourself to review where you've been and where you want to be, it kind of gives you a new center. You know, it doesn't matter if your plans go through or not. It doesn't matter if your year was how you wanted it to be or not. But if you feel centered in your life, that's really all that matters. You want to know that you don't have to worry about next year. You don't have to worry that, you know, you're not going to be the person that you want to be because in the moment you're making sure that you are. That's really the message and that's really how I feel about all this stuff. I just want to check in, see how everything's going, see how I'm feeling and really get inspired to be the best version of me that I can. One way to do that is to surround yourself with people that you admire and read their books, watch their videos, um, and just hold yourself to a new level. I think that, you know, we can all use that from time to time. Just that reminder that we are great, we are capable, we are absolutely full of potential, and that we can tap into our potential anytime. It doesn't have to always remain outside of us. It doesn't have to always remain something that is like, you know, not in our grasp or we always have to find it or search for it. Um, I hear that from a lot of people, how they feel like there's so much potential around them, but they don't feel like they're tapping into it. But the trick is to tap into your potential is that you have to stop and you have to allow yourself to grow into the person who is living that, who's making the difference that your potential um, would make who's creating the things that your potential would help you create. It's not a trick and it's not that you're ever detached from your true potential. It's that you need to be the one to take the reins and say, nope, I'm stopping, I'm checking in. This is what my potential in me would do. And this is how I'm going to do it. So if you need help tapping into that, then plan for a day or a couple hours where you can get all that stuff accomplished and really feel who you are and feel what makes sense for you to do. And don't worry so much about 
what other people may or may not say about, you know, your new activities or your new plans, <sighs> give yourself a break in that department because really you're prejudging someone else's possible thoughts. And when you can really look at it like that, like you're assuming that this person is going to think this about you, or you're assuming that this person's going to, you know, say something that's like this to you when you do a certain thing. And all of those are such possibilities and such slim chances that those people will say what it is that you're thinking they're gonna say. That to waste your time really worrying about that and holding yourself back because of that, it doesn't really make logical sense. So even though I know it can feel like a really big deal, um, try to put that aside because you are the one that loses when that happens. You know, you're the one that really takes yourself out of the game before anything has even come up in, I don't know, as an obstacle. And really, when you're being the person that you really want to be, those obstacles are so small when you actually get to them. You know, like someone will leave you a negative comment or someone close to you will make a bad remark. And it may, you know, get you off your track for a day or so, but after that, you've learned from it, you know that you're not wounded in battle from going through that and you're even stronger so yeah you know take that potential and really make it who you are don't just leave it as potential it's really not that hard and I totally believe in you I know you can do it you wouldn't be feeling yourself as having that if you really didn't so go and be the big old badass that you are and change the world and rock on and Watch your life change around you as you step up. It's truly remarkable what happens. And, you know, the amount of love and support that you're going to receive from those that you've helped and touched, even if it's indirectly, is really going to come back to you. So lots and lots and lots of love. I hope that your year has been amazing. But if it hasn't, just know that you can center and you can feel however you want to feel in the moment. All right. Lots of love. Bye-bye, guys. Happy holidays.